The brains of people with epilepsy appear to react to music differently from the brains of those who do not have the disorder, a finding that could lead to new therapies to prevent seizures, according to research presented at the American Psychological Association's 123rd Annual Convention. We believe that music could potentially be used as an intervention to help people with epilepsy, said Christine Cheriton, Ph.D., adjunct assistant professor and visitor visiting assistant professor of neurology at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center who presented the research. Approximately 80% of epilepsy cases are what is known as temporal lobe epilepsy, in which the seizures appear to originate in the temporal lobe of the brain. Music is processed in the auditory cortex in this same region of the brain, which was why Cheriton wanted to study the effect of music on the brains of people with epilepsy. Cheriton Sheridan and her colleagues compared the musical processing abilities of the brains of people with and without epilepsy using an electroencephalogram, where electrodes are attached to the scalp to detect and record brainwave patterns. They collected data from 21 patients who were in the epilepsy monitoring unit at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center between September 2012 and May 2014. The researchers recorded brainwave patterns while patients listen to 10 minutes of silence followed by either Mozart's Sonata in D major, Andante Movement 2, K448, or John Coltrane's rendition of My Favorite Things, a second 10-minute period of silence, the other of the two musical pieces and finally a third 10-minute period of silence. The order of the music was randomized, meaning some participants listened to Mozart first and other participants listened to Coltrane first. First, 